Yes, we are live. Hey, everyone. Uh, welcome to our last webinar Wednesday webinar. Um, what we're going to do next is we're going to run through the digital heat FX lineup and Holly is going to demonstrate the 8432 and the software. It's going to be amazing. I promise. Um, what I'm going to do first, just because I think just about everyone that's here has been to at least two or three of these webinars is I'm going to explain to you how important graphics are, are again. And we're going to go to the cold SE dash graphics site. I'm going to tell you a little story about that. We're going to show you where to get um, blank t shirts because both of those things happen before you actually start making transfers. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to turn it over to Holly for the fun stuff. Um, and you can type in your questions at any time. We'll answer them as we go. So excuse me for just a minute. Um, if you guys uh, have not heard the story yet, then um, then you're in for a treat because this is the end result that you're getting a preview here of the Bond Dogs, um, our internationally famous uh, barbecue champion um, and sales manager, Joe Smalley, um, came, to, uh, came to Cold Essie Graphics wanting to do some signage and some, a, little, a little marketing, a little barbecue team pride for an upcoming event. So he sat down with uh, Mark Vila, and I'm just gonna show you the, um, the amazing thing that they came up with. Um, this is actually the start of the design. Uh, I think that's Mark that, that drew that. So here's the idea, is Coldesi Graphics is there if you have an idea, if you have a customer graphic, if you need uh, embroidery digitizing, whatever level of good or bad file that you've got or idea you've got, you can go to coldesi-graphics.com and you can talk to them about getting it getting it converted into a usable file. Now they do a lot of digitizing. I'm just gonna scroll up here. If you've got an embroidery machine, um, I just wanna show you the difference here. This is a, an, um, uh, an embroidery file. We, uh, we sent this out to your typical internet embroidery um, service that charged eight or $10 for doing this to a firehouse graphic. And then it ended up like this by the time Cold SE Graphics got to it. So it's a pretty amazing difference. And they do the same kind of thing with graphics. And one of the best parts is, as you'll see in just a minute with, um, with this Bond Dogs thing, is they, they speak digital. They speak digital heat effects, they speak DTG. So you tell them what you're gonna do, even if you're getting into the screen print business, you can tell them you're gonna do screen printing and they can produce a great graphics file. It, it's a good experience. Um, we are using them constantly. If you got a chance to see the Avance webinar this morning where we did 3D puff on a cap, um, it was great. They, they, um, they digitized it for us. It sewed out great the first time, sewed out great the second time, and that's what you saw in the webinar. So um, that's the first thing is you've got to have good graphics. I do want to remind you though for a second here, what you don't want to do is you don't want to go to Google or Bing and do an image search or grab something from a customer website and, uh, and save it to your drive. And, and think that it's gonna make a good t-shirt. Uh, it's not going to for a couple of reasons. Uh, first of all, it's probably too low resolution. Um, secondly, it's not yours. Um, you're taking somebody else's design unless you paid for it and it's copyrighted that way. You are, you're stealing somebody else's work. So I encourage you not to do that. You should invest in a, um, in a graphic service you know, if you just want to look at high-res files for printing, you go to iStock or Deposit Photos, something like that. Do something professional and then go into cold se graphics and, uh, and get something worthy of your business and your customers done. Okay, so that is um, cold se graphics If you haven't used it yet, please do. And, um, and we use shirts here uh, from Coleman & Company. We started in the blank apparel business uh, late last year. And we did that because people like you are asking for it. If you are a new business, maybe you don't have a reseller license, or you're just looking for the convenience of, I'm gonna order my paper, I'm gonna order some ink, I'm going to, I'm gonna get some thread and some backing, and I'm just gonna order my t-shirts at the same time. And you can know that all of the shirts here that you know, we can tell you how they're gonna perform on different technologies in the building. So go to colemanandcompany.com and go up to the um, wholesale apparel section and just shop around. You can see the, um, the prices when you log in. What you're gonna see one of at least 
is the, um, is the DT-104, which is right here. This is what we do our DTG and um, digital heat effect samples 99% of the time. Um, it's a premium shirt, uh, which means that your, that your graphics are going to look great on it. Okay, um, that is it for me. I'm going to turn it back over to um, introduce you to Holly Wood, who is going to um, going to walk you through the rest of the process. Can I make sure my mic's on? Can everybody hear me? Yes, you're good. Awesome. Thank you guys and welcome. Thanks for staying with me so late tonight. I am the end of the roll tonight. Um, my objective of today is just kind of go through the demo process with you, um, go through the process from A to B to C, and as Mark stated, we need to start with our graphic. So I'm actually gonna use Joe's graphic and I'm gonna go through and show you what I would do if I was going to print this t-shirt um, on multiple colors. So I am going to be printing from the 8432 today. That's my middle printer. Um, this one will print 11 by 17. <clears throat> we do have three models, starting from the right. That's my i550. Print space after your graphic, um, after your margins is about 7.8 by 11.1. My cost on those prints are about three to four cents per square inch. Moving on up, I feel like these two are my best for my business um, customers just because of the, the size and then also your cost. This one prints up to 11 by 17. Cost is about two cents per square inch. And then I've got my big daddy that will print up to 13 by 19. Five color printer. Sorry. Okay. You see how I'm 5'4 with heels on, so you can see how big it is. Um, it is on a cabinet. The, the printer starts about right here, but 13 by 19, five color printer. And that one is also about two cents per square inch, to, depending on your media. And I'm not going to get into all that. You can talk to your salesperson about that. So let's go over, I'm gonna take you over to my print optimizer software and I'm gonna show you my graphic and we're gonna start from there. Um, I just wanted to show you really quickly because I am gonna do a front and back design on this because a lot of people want front and, front and back and I kinda of wanted to show you how I do it in production just to maximize my press time. So for here, I wanted this image to be three. And then I can very easily hit copies and gang sheets. Yep. Oops. So if you're if you're a graphic software user, you can appreciate that. You can how appreciate that how fast that is for me to make and I can add space very easily. You know, and I've already done that. So I'm going to now take that back to one copy and we're going to print it because I don't want to get into too much detail and lose you guys. So I'm going to make this as big as I can. And if we can go back to the printer, because now I am going to print. You got it. Holly, um, is there a lot of maintenance on these? Actually, zero. <laughs> Little to none, I should say. So for each printer, um, I, I talk mainly, this is our flagship, so I'll just talk about that when there are different specs for each printer. Um, probably between year two and four of the life of your printer, you have one fuser, and each color, which is four, CYMW, has a drum. So each part is around 250 bucks. Your fuser will give you about two years of life. Your white drum is gonna give you about 10,000 prints, and each of your colors is 30,000. So other than replacing my toner and replacing my paper, that is all the maintenance I need. I can turn it on, run it when I want. Okay, so just from a planning perspective, 10,000 prints, you replace the white drum. Mm -hmm. And our average customer makes what, about 10, I would say eight to 15 average per okay. shirt. So, so 10 bucks. So mm -hmm. you would have made a hundred thousand dollars in shirts. Exactly. Okay. So 1,250 okay. bu 1250 bucks over course of two to four years. Not so bad. Yep. And Good. we sell other equipment that's a little bit more than that. So I, I'll take it. Um, so this is what it looks like when it comes out. Sorry. So as you see, all my black is missing from where I knocked that out. Let me get my B sheet. So I'm going to put this in my heat press with what we call our B sheet. And what that is essentially doing is putting a white polymer just on the toner. So when I do a hot peel, that's going to leave my glue that can be reheated for any fabric, whoops, any color, and any substrate pretty much that'll fit into my heat press. 
So that's one of the one of the big advantages to the whole digital heat effects lineup is you can pretty much heat press it onto any fabric. Correct. Yeah. Um, this is. I don't like to talk about timing temperatures actually because they vary a little bit with printers and some of our old videos people surface back and they're like well, wait I saw this video yeah. so this is gonna go in and cook I do like to touch on the heat press just a little bit because every customer for the most part unless you're brand brand new everyone has a heat press a lot of you guys started with Amazon crafting cool all heat presses are not create created equally this process I'm doing right now that's actually taking that glue from that B sheet and putting it on my toner is very sensitive to um, consistent heat and pressure. This one is coiled really tightly on the inside, so it's gonna create any cold spots in between those coils. And it also has a digital readout for my pressure. So I can tell from zero to nine exactly what pressure I'm on, which actually helps you in every process. I don't know why all heat presses don't have that, but heat press is a very critical element in this process. So, so in this part of the process, how long is it does, does it have to press? 8432 is going to be 75 seconds. My 9541 is 100, um, and those are the bigger bigger sheets as well. So this, I'm just going to, I want to marry it. I'm going to keep it hot. So I'm going to keep it on the press, pull one corner off so I'm not burning my fingers. Anyone that's doing vinyl right now, you must be jealous. Right. There we go. So I've got in. Um, now, I didn't gang sheet this. I should have put my left chest logos on the back. But just so you know, in terms of cost, we said we can do two cents per square inch. But if I did take my paper, somebody walked in and I had to use a whole sheet of paper, it's going to cost me about $4 or four twenty-five if you're on a paper savers club. And I'm going to turn this up. Mark, so everyone my handy dandy little cutter. Runs away. Hang on. <laughs> The after work see very well. So this is part of one of the additional packages that that you that most people get with the eighty four thirty two. Y'all, I include these the um, these trimmers in every single one of my packages because it's a lifesaver. It locks down. I can do about five or six at a time. And when I cut these babies earlier, it just took me a couple of cuts. So I've already pre-cut my left chest logos, which really I should have stuck at the bottom of that. But I just want to show you the gang sheet. Okay. Now, shirt and heat press again? Yep. I'm gonna go on the other side this time, is that okay? Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, I, get, I get questions a lot about production because the, the more times we're pulling our shirt on and off the heat press, we are saving, we're like losing labor, right? Yep. So I, if I'm doing a front back design, And you guys, some people thread their shirts, some people don't. This may not be perfect. I usually don't, but I have another method. <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and put my left chest logo on here. All right, now uh, we do have a question. How many seconds was it before you peeled? It was right oh, away, wasn't it? I go right away, because you want to keep it hot, you want to keep it on the heat. Um, and I know some of you guys are already customers, so I can say this. Yep. If you ever experience your print sticking to your B sheet, I, or I already know immediately when somebody sends me a picture, they probably pulled it off the press and it got too cold. What's the time you're doing right now? This is on 100% cotton, so I'm pressing this at 45 seconds. If I'm doing like a 50-50, it's going to be 30. So that varies, and you get like a little temperature in your uh, time chart in your uh, box. Okay. <clears throat> so this has got three seconds. So this, people ask me this all the time, I've got to get to demo because I've never done a front back. So now I just leave this here and I literally turn it over. Just be gentle because you want to peel that front part off um, cold, okay? So I'm just going to turn that over. So all I did was flip it on my press. I'm not pulling it out. Oh. So you're doing a final press. You're going to get both. I'm going to, yeah, I'm gonna, that way I'm, uh, I'm cool. flip, flip, and then flip, flip for the end. 
in our heat processor. And real quick when that's pressing too, I did want to show you, I, it, so we talked about negative space. Ideally for this, it would go best on a white shirt because I took the white out. Look how much white is missing. So all of my dog, all of these letters are going to give me great negative space. Yeah. So I just wanted to show you, I knocked out the white really quick, but most people want to see on a black shirt. So if I was putting this on multiple shirts, this would be my white design. That would be my black design. Very quickly done in my print optimizer. So if you're not familiar with the technologies, one of the reasons why people get a white toner printer is because you can print, you can print, print white. <laughs> yeah. So that doesn't do my demo any good, but. <laughs> So this one's finished. So now I'm going to take it over. Again, if I'm in production, this is going to be a cold peel. Just toss it to the side. So I, now I would be on to my, I would do all of my mirroring steps. And then I would do all of my pressing. I would lay this aside until it cooled. And then by the time I'm two or three shirts in, this is ready to be peeled. I wanted to talk about a little bit about cost too. At least we said four dollars a sheet. This um, the left chest logos we didn't talk about. That's twenty one cents. Right. So because I used a whole sheet, which I didn't have to really, I probably could have gotten a couple left chests. Um, I'm four dollars and twenty one cents into this. And are you ready? You see? Yep. Now I'm just gonna rip that off. Okay. Again, for my vinyl people. Ha. Oh, let's do that. Great. Yep. Okay. And then again for my finishing press, I'm going to turn that up to a higher pressure on an eight to nine. So this is going to push it down in the fabrics. I use this. This is another reason <laughs> to have one of these uh, digital. Pressers. I use the heck out of this. <laughs> what is that? I'm oh, sorry. That's this a... is the flexible sheet. It's like a, a silicone sheet. I use it for this because I'm going to put it on the bottom yep. and it's going to protect my platen. Or you can have a platen cover. Um, also, any thin materials like polyester, nylon, anything that's not clothing, I use because it doesn't leave any marks. And for non clothing, it gives you just a little bit more play if too much, if it's not completely flat. So, the, um, the heat press we're using Oops. has a digital readout for pressure? It does. Can you, I don't know if you can see it. And I've got one more press to go. So you'll see my temperature. My pressure can only be red when it's down, and I can only adjust it when it's up. So right now, when I pull it back up, it'll go back down to zero. And then I would have to manually adjust here. Gotcha. But this heat press does have a lot of presets. So I can set like my marrying like temperature and time. I can set it up for polyester, nylon, whatever I want to do, push up a button. The only thing it doesn't manually do It'll turn red if I'm not on the right pressure, but it won't manually adjust my pressure. Actually, if you look farther down the, the side of the showroom here, you'll see the Spangle Elite and the Pro Spangle. The reason that they're over here is because we've got presets in this heat press yep. for each one of those different right. processes. Right, right. So if you do a lot of transfers, this is definitely it. Or different, just vi different vinyls. Every vinyl has yeah, different stuff true. too. If you're using glitter vinyl, HTV, yeah, that's a good point. That is, that's just a finished step. Yep, and I'm finished. So I've got a front back t-shirt that feels great because I've pulled the black out of it and let my black become part of my design. Come back over here and show. I also have a whole sheet of left chest logos that are married. Yep, and a Oh, can you see? Sorry. And then... Once those sheets are married, there's no shelf life either. So say I do a lot for these bolt, these dogs, I can just pack the gang sheets of the left or two of these or whatever, and I can just toss them aside and press them whenever I'm ready. You have to throw those on a shirt. That's yeah. the difference. Give them a freebie. There you go. Sell some more stuff. Okay, cool. Uh, we've, we've actually got another five minutes or so left if you wanted to go through some of the other things that you can do. Sure. Is it, do we have any questions? I got a question. I didn't. No, just that. Be sitting is uh, okay. production tip.
Oh, so, thank uh, you. Yeah. I knew I could help somebody, right? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, no, the, the less you can pull the, the shirt on and off, the faster you're gonna be. Let's spin this around. Yep. That's what I love about this printer is you have so much versatility. All of these products were made. Um, I, I get a lot of people asking about wood. Um, th and this is actually, I always finish shirts because that's going to push it down and give me my 40 to 60 washes. But with wood, this is the same design. This is shiny and this is matte. So you can kind of have some flexibility there. Here is some slate. Yep. And this was I'm all this not was a very all good done. hand model. With it. <laughs> yeah. This was all done with the same paper that we did the t-shirts on. Uh, packaging. Damn t-shirt. So, my keyboard. It's not uh, if you guys are a lot of Etsy folks, I know use this stuff and they like to have pretty packaging. Let's see. Metal looks great on metal. Super easy too. And that tiki bar is a great idea right now. Yes, it is beer thirty, right? Yep. Beer six o'clock. Where are we? <laughs> Um, a lot of people like this one. This is a mirror. Oh yeah, that looks great. Okay. So all kinds of stuff. Um, if you listen to Mark, Mark and Mark's podcast, they talk about throwing in freebies. Koozies are an easy freebie. I did that whole sheet of transfers with the bond dogs. That may be something that you hand out and it's, you throw it in your package. So maybe next time they order a, order koozies from you. Cool. No. All right. I think um, I think that will do it. What we're going to do next is we are going to um, I'm going to put the website address up there so you can chat if you want to. Okay. Um, I'm also going to turn off the video and stop the recording, but we'll leave the chat up for a few minutes so you guys Perfect. can type in any questions. All right. Thanks, Holly. Thank you, guys, for joining again.